Hello, welcome to another mini army show. It's Patrick and Sean here, and today we've got World War II German infantry. Yeah, and we're changing the scale that we usually do today because we're doing 132 scale. 132 scale, or is it 135 scale? Who knows? It says 132 scale on the pack, but it's airfix. So it's weird. It's, everything's weird when it's airfix. And, and here is a guy. That's one of the guys. Standing up. And so. Don't you usually say Sean and Patrick, not Patrick and Sean? Uh, oh. <laughs> anyway, so we'll uh, we'll have, we'll, have, we'll, have, we'll who, who's the guys? So we got a lot of the we got a we got a lot of these guys painted up, and we're gonna have a take take a closer look at these. Now, Patrick, here's the guys lined up, right? And in a pack, yeah. in a pack of these, these Airfix guys, right? Uh, these 32, thir 132 scale guys, Wait, you get, what is it, 14 guys you get in a pack? Yeah? Yeah, but we only got 13. For some reason, yeah, we only we got, got... We got one guy missing. Yeah, one, one guy's AWOL. Is that guy on... Uh, is this guy on the box? Yeah, it's the guy who should be feeding the bullets. The guy, should, the guy who should be feeding the bullets into the uh, MG forty MG forty two. This 42. is the MG right, so he's, forty two. So let's have a look. So let's have a look at these guys painted up, right? So in this pack, you're meant to get the uh, machine, and this was bought. This was bought new as well. This wasn't second hand or anything like this. Oh. So you're meant to get the guy shooting the MG. The, com the the guy feeding the bullets into it, the yes. command the commander. I've painted these up now. Now again, I haven't painted the uh, stands because I might put them on a diorama at some later stage, and I haven't decided if it's going to be like sand or rock or grass. And you might notice I've I've done a a variety of the pa of paint jobs on them, right? So some guys have camo helmets, mm. some guys have different u uniform colours. Because the Germans changed their uniforms during the war, they like they had early ones and later ones and different variants. And these ones you might notice. Are these are early ones. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's kind of the the bit earlier. But see the, the these extras here. Yeah. I got them from a pack of um, Airfix sol soldiers, uh, and a, a few of them I just glued on some some extra stuff like, like that mess tin that they have there, and he's got a roll there. Um, um, what you call it, sleeping bag roll, added to his gear. So you get three, three guys kneeling down shooting. You get two guys standing up. These really nice poses. I love this pose here of this guy. Uh, this guy kneeling down shooting. He looks well comfortable with his gun. He's a great pose. The co the commander guy is um, a very like iconic looking pose at this stage. It's a brilliant looking pose. Um, and the rifle guys, nice pose. The the guy, the guys throwing the grenades. I love. There's a certain amount of animation that you get in his pose. You really feel that he's going to throw that, don't you? There's a nice yeah. weight to it, right? And the guy, the guys running. They're ni quite a nice pose as well. There's a bit of. Uh, bit, his arm looks a bit funny the way he goes on his arm, but. Apart from that, he looks good. Now this is this guy here. Has the wrong gun. Wrong gun. This is the guy. Wrong that gun. This is this, guy. this guy's name is Wrong Gun, and this guy's name is Wrong Gun Number Two. Yeah. So these are the guys that bugged me when we when we were doing the one seventy two scale version of these guys, because that gun, as far as I've ever seen, it doesn't exist. And if it does exist. It was. It must have been such a a rare gun that it's not a common gun. Um, now, just to compare these guys to this different set. I'm not sure what brand these are, but I've I've found these in an old secondhand shop and I bought them loose. But this guy is kind of cool. That is cooler. my favorite guy out of all of these. He's cooler. Guys. He, yeah, he's got the proper. Yeah. He's got the M, proper M uh, MP40 machine machine gun. That's, isn't it an, isn't it an MP or an MG? Uh, MP40 was the machine gun. It's actually, it was like sergeants would use it and it shot, it basically they would give commanders pistols and in, so they gave them a machine gun that shot pistol size 9mm bullets. So we've got, he's in a really good pose. 
but he's obviously not from that set, you can tell by his stand. And they've got an officer here, and I kind of used that officer as a guide when I was painting up my guy. So, I think we've got the colours quite close to them, I think they, they look quite cool. Um, we have different hair, I like prefer that guy different, with their different, brown different, hair. Different hair, did you say? Yeah, that guy has red, orange hair, yellow, orange, and this guy has black. I prefer this guy's hair. Uh, see the little things on his collar, I haven't added them yet, so I'll have to add them. See the little stripes on the, uh, the pre-painted pre guy that I bought has the stripes on his collar. I haven't... What's that thing that he's holding? He's got a map. He's got planning out and a, a, a map of attack. Right, so just a little, a little word of how a German unit operated in reality, right? Is the MG would, the MG would be the, the main focus of attack, right? And you'd usually have a, a, a sergeant with them without the cap. So that's why I like this guy with them, right? So the sergeant would be on, a, uh, you, when they attacked, the sergeant would usually be on his own do, doing, um, he could put a, a, a bit of um, some, a bit of shooting down with his, mach with his machine pistol. He'd have the MG, usually with the guy feeding it, and another the lowest ranking guy would be on the team and he would be carrying the ammo he'd be the newest guy on the team right and so he would be supporting the mg and then you'd break the rest of the team up into two fire teams so you'd have one fire team there and you'd have another fire team over here and you'd end up with t 10 men a 10 men unit that's the usual unit for a, a german unit was usually that and the MG would put down a base of fire, cover, cover fire on the area. He would he would organise it, and the two fire teams would move in, maybe flanking. One going that way, one going this way. And if they were taking over a building, they'd usually flank it. And that's usually that's the the kind of doctrine the doctrine that they used when they uh, when they were uh, and most kind of other military units still work in a similar fashion. They've got the MG. Is the heart? You've got the officer. He'd be blowing whistles back in the day. He'd be blowing whistles to command them, and then the guys would move in and they'd throw their grenades. Would he have a whistle, or would he just be using his mouth to whistle? Uh, he'd have a whistle because if there's gunfire going on, uh, it's it's uh, it'd be hard to hear him shouting commands. So that's the that's the base structure of a, pro a proper uh, infantry unit. Uh, it's a pity that airfix don't come along and update. The details on on uh, these guys, like because that that gu that gun, like you wouldn't believe how much that gun irritates me. I'm always, I, I I prattled on about it a bit in the in the other version, but uh, it annoys me. Why didn't they just? Why don't can't they just remold that and uh, put the correct gun? Because here's another thing, buddy. Have a look at this on the pack. And again, I love the pack art. Uh, the Airfix pack art lo looks brilliant. I love the the red and the painting there looks cool. But you see your man over there. See the gun he's using? Yeah. MG40. He's got the proper gun there. So, even on their... They got the packet correct, but... uh but in they got the guy In reality, wrong. they put this guy in there. And like, I, what, if they know what it looks like, then why did they do the wrong gun? That's the thing. It bugs, it, it's kind of annoying, isn't it? But uh, apart from that, I think most of the poses yeah. are really good, and they're, they're kind of a, an iconic-looking pack. But yeah. it's, it's, it's an yeah. iconic kind of style. And a weird thing I was saying there is like, why is it 132, right? Where is it 135 or 132? What is it? Um, Nobody will know. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's another pack of guys, right? And this is another separate pack. And this is a... Uh, look at the scale of these guys. Right, so we'll, we'll get rid of all these guys, right? We we'll just have the officers to compare the three packs, right? Let's, let's arrange them a bit better. Right, so we got we're gonna so we're setting up here three officers, and again I haven't got, I haven't got a stand on this guy because uh, he's a uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put him in a diorama or something like that, but he's he's way smaller scale than those guys. He's noticeably smaller, isn't he? Yeah, let's have a competition. Whoever's the biggest wins. And you might say, well, that's okay. Look, look, he's like, he's like his little little nephews coming to fight a war with him, right? 
I think the scale in them was weird. But this Airfix, all their all their scaling stuff of scaling for stuff seems to be a bit odd, right? So this pack here of the soldiers, one thirty two scale. This guy, this officer guy, he's come from this pack, right? And again, one thirty two scale. So they from two Airfix packets. They say they're the same scale, but they're ov obviously not the same scale. There's a slight difference in it. So I don't know why in all these years that Airfix haven't come along and unified their scale and fixed it. Here's another, here's a weird thing as well. A Tamiya thing, right? So here's Tamiya. Right? They're very good. 135 scale. Yeah. So what the hell scale are people using? is a weird scale. Well, I don't know. What's what's I don't know what's the correct scale, but I wish they. We use I mean it's one seventy two, and for bolt action you use one thirty two. But now what's what bolt action is one fifty eight, I think. Anyway, so here's uh, here's a bunch of guys I put together and I painted in a similar way, but the poses I didn't really follow the uh, I didn't really follow the uh, rules for for posing them, and their poses came out a bit weird. So next next time I've got another set to do. And when I do them in future, they're, they're, I'm going to follow the uh, I'm going to follow the directions a bit better. Because this guy ended up looking very odd. He look he looks like he's getting he's got a he's got a pa Panzerfaust there, but he's holding it in a it's the only way he could s stick his arms together. Anyway, I didn't follow the poses that good. He ended up looking quite good. So he rocks back and forth. Um, anyway, so this has been a quick look at these. Airfix 132-ish scale guys. Uh, these are an epic pack of toys. I I had these when I was a little kid, and uh, they obviously came. They were back in the day, and they they had just the blue plastic that they're made from. And I always thought, they, wouldn't they look good painted up? And uh, I see these on uh, online a lot. People are painting these up and selling them for a lot of a lot a lot of money. Look, uh, professional yeah, painters. Well, a pack of them is a pack of them. Those guys are going to set you back maybe fifteen quid, maybe online. And I've seen guys selling these guys. One guy, I've seen a pack, a, a pack on eBay, and they had four guys. Now they were from the different different armies: the American, Russian, um, British, and German, on a pack, and they were selling them for eighty euros. I think it was eighty sterling actually. So it was eighty quid. So it was like, so if you got in, if you got into a business of, pa of painting them up, you'd have to paint them up a bit better than me. I'm not the greatest painter in the world, but uh, if you painted them up a bit, you could uh, make some money selling them on eBay. But uh, anyway, just a quick look at them. <laughs> so this is so this is a quick look at the Airfix one thirty two ish scale um, soldiers all painted up and we got a little guest visitor today on the mini army show someone wants to someone wants to poke their head, head in and say hello so come on over here hello hello and this is this is edith, edith. and edith has wa uh, wanted to come on and say hello and we then. also have someone wanting to come in the window called kick out <laughs> the mini army cat <laughs> So, well, I her in, I wait, wait, wait for a second. So, Edith, uh, do you yeah, do you like do you like do World you like War Two soldiers? Yeah. And uh, do you like you like the mini army show? Yeah. And do you subscribe and hit the bell? Well, I don't know how to. But you don't know how to click and subscribe button under the bell. But you would if you could, eh? Yeah. All right. And so, if you had something to click it on. So you can join phone. us for you can join us for the sign off, right? And, and we're, Kit Kat is and we're gonna the say window. we're gonna say that's all from the mini army show from Patrick, Sean, and guest Edith, right? So if you like it, tell a friend. If you don't you like it, it, tell an enemy. <laughs> bye. bye, -bye. Patrick. Okay. <laughs> Go down the hall so I can see. Go down the hall so I can see what Edith's doing.